chapter 3 minerals and power resources students in this chapter we will be discussing what is a mineral where do we get the minerals how are they found in different different continents like are they found in large quantities less quantities what type of minerals are found in different different continents all these we will be discussing in this chapter along with that we also give a special emphasis on the minerals which are used in generating power so what are the minerals that are used as resources to generate power that we will be focusing now first of all what is a mineral is a mineral is a natural substance which is occurred in nature with a predefined chemical composition that predefined chemical composition is nothing but which is determined by the nature itself where the humans do not have any role to do here a naturally occurring substance which is having a predefined chemical composition is known as the mineral so where do the minerals come from the minerals come from the nature so in the nature we have these minerals which are having a predefined chemical composition this predefined chemical composition here the role of the human in either making a mineral or in this chemical composition is zero where the role of the human is nothing it is naturally occurred substance that is nothing but a mineral these minerals are differentiated basing on the color basing on the thickness basing on the availability and different other categories so the differences are found in their chemical composition actually here a mineral which is formed in the nature has different nature properties because when it is combined with different different chemicals the same chemical may give a different type of reaction basing on the other component which is getting added to this one this entire thing is also used as a resource sometimes to generate electricity or power now we will check from where do we get these minerals now basing on the minerals how many types of minerals are there there are nearly 3000 minerals available for us in the nature basing on the composition overall minerals are 3000 for us among these 3000 we have divided them basing on the chemical composition of the minerals the minerals which contain the elements which are related to iron which contained to good conductors of heat and electricity are categorized as metallic minerals the others who don't contain this nature are called as non metallic minerals so the basing on the composition of the minerals the 3000 minerals are broadly categorized into minerals of metallic and non metallic metallic minerals example is we have iron ore and bauxite which act as good conductors of heat and electricity when it comes to the non metallic which does not contain the metallic nature in their chemical composition those come under the non metallic minerals these non metallic minerals are coal petroleum and gypsum are the examples of non metallic minerals now these metallic and non metallic minerals are again further divided the metallic minerals are again redivided into ferrous and non ferrous minerals ferrous which contain iron in them that is like iron ore manganese come under the category of ferrous minerals coming to the non ferrous minerals that is the gold the silver the copper these all does not contain any of the iron or iron particles 
So they come under the non-iron group, that is non-ferrous group, that is the gold, silver and copper. So like this, the 3000 minerals which are available in the nature are broadly categorized basing on the chemical composition of that particular substance that is metallic and non-metallic. Metallic are again redivided into ferrous group and the non-ferrous group. Coming to the metallic, we can see here iron ore and bauxite are the metallic examples of metallic industry, metallic chemicals. Coming to the non-metallic examples, we have coal, petroleum and gypsum. Coming to ferrous and non-ferrous group, the examples are iron ore, manganese. Non-ferrous group, we have gold, silver and copper. How the minerals are extracted? How the minerals are taken from the under layers of the earth? Where are the minerals found actually? Minerals are found in the deeper layers of the earth. They are buried under the rocks of the earth. So what is a rock actually? A rock is a combination of two or three different types of minerals without a predefined chemical composition. It can also contain different types of ores, different types of chemicals, different types of minerals together is called a rock which is in solid state. These rocks, under these rocks you find the different kinds of minerals and the layers of the earth. So minerals are found buried under the rocks. So the process of taking the minerals from the layers of the earth is known as extraction. They are bringing the minerals which are in the inner layers of the earth towards the upper part and use it to the level of the ground and use them. So there are different methods to bring the minerals on to the layers of the earth. One, mining. Two, drilling. Three, quarrying. These three are the main methods. How? The minerals are brought from the inner layers to the upper layers. So in mining, again we have the open cast mining and shaft mining. What is open cast mining? Open cast mining, for example, if you take iron ore. Iron ore, they generally do the open cast mining. They take the entire layers of the earth by removing with the cranes and all. So they go deeper and deeper by making a playground like a structure and they take the entire mud layers one layer after the other layer and the other layer so they go so deep till where they get the iron ore available for them so they don't dig a small hole or something but they dig the entire region like a wide area and they make it as a map and slowly they remove the layers after layers after layer so that they can go into the deeper layers so it is very wide and open. So it is called as open cast mining. This open cast mining is mainly used in Ballari region when they are doing the iron ore extractions. When they are extracting the iron ore in Ballari is a good example of open cast mining. And now we will move to the next category of mining that is shafts mining. The shafts mining happens that is by having a hole under the earth. So they drill the earth by making it a hole and these holes are known as shafts. These holes go deeper and deeper and from through that they extract the minerals. So extracting the minerals through a small hole or shafts is known as shaft mining. And moving on to the next category, drilling. These people drill the earth the layers of the earth are being drilled and then go inside and inside and extract the minerals outside. And later we have the quarry. Remove the layers, break the hills, cut them into small, small particles and these stones are transported from here to the other places. The quarry stones are removed from there and they go deeper and deeper and get the minerals outside. So whatever it is the method that we are doing, we are actually extracting the natural minerals which are available in the nature. It can be either mining on the open cast mining or the shaft mining. It can be on the drilling method or it can be quarrying. All these methods are used to extract the minerals from the different layers of the earth which are buried under the rocks.